The last part we want to do for question three is to find out these boats' actual locations. And so what we need to do is find, once again using a rolling ruler, find a horizontal line that will match up with the left-hand side or the right-hand side grid. And the left-hand side or the right-hand side, because it's vertically, would be our longitude. And also we have our horizontal line, which will be our latitude. So what we want to do first is find boat A using our vertical lines and our horizontal lines, convert our position over to the both to the sides. So we want latitude first. And so what we're going to do is find latitude by going vertically, line up our rolling ruler with any vertical line, any vertical line at all should be fine. Roll over to our position of A and mark on our our latitude position. Now we need to, conv to to look at the scale, look at any major marks. So this is 148 degrees. The next mark says 30 minutes. So now there's this distance from 148 to 30 um, is going to be 30 minutes. So we need to use that scale to find out how much extra we've gone. So if we have a look at this, we have a bar, no bar, bar, no bar, bar, no bar. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six segments in that 148 degrees to 30 minutes. So each of those segments, six segments divided by 30 would be five. So each of these segments are actually five. So I could label them as five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and of course 35, and this last one, 40. So we are lying somewhere between 35 and 40. The bars up above there might be quite hard to see. There's little chits above that, and they seem to be five in each group. A bar and a no bar is five long, so each of those chits would be one minute. So we count them 36, 37. So we have 37 minutes, and also our major degree mark is 148, so 148 degrees, 37 minutes. So photo A, 148 degrees, 37 minutes. Uh, somewhere it should say whether that's measuring east or west, <coughs> because it's going to be southeast Tasmania, that should definitely be measuring east from prime meridian. Okay, next let's find out our latitude, our latitude for boat, uh, sorry, our longitude for boat A. Any line here that is horizontal, there's one there. Once again holding the rolling ruler firmly on the rolling section, move it up until we get to position A and convert our position over onto the latitude, oh sorry, onto the longitude. Okay, so this is 43 degrees here, and we have a 30 minute mark here. We would need to know whether 40, 43 degrees is going this way, or 43 degrees is going this way. If we're in the southern hemisphere, if we're in the southern hemisphere, the degrees would still be measuring away from the equator, because the equator should be right up here somewhere. If we're in the northern hemisphere, We would be above the equator, so therefore 43 degrees would be here and we'd be measuring up. So this would be 43 degrees 30 minutes. Okay. If we're in the southern hemisphere, this would be 42 degrees coming down here, all the way down here. And so this section here would be 42 degrees 30 minutes. Because we're in southeast Tasmania, this definitely should be the southern hemisphere. Okay. So this section down here is 43 degrees. This section up here will be the final part of 42 degrees. So we have 42 degrees, 30 minutes here. 42 degrees, 30 minutes is this position here. Once again, let's have a look at the scale between 30 minutes and 43 minutes. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six sections of either having a bar or no bar. So six, six sections divided by 30 minutes would mean five minutes per bar or no bar. So this is 30 minutes. Our first segment here would be 35 minutes. And next bar here would be 40 minutes, 45, 50, 55 minutes. Excellent. So we're going somewhere between 35 and 40 minutes. Once again, we have five chits on the side. We need one, two, three. So we have three plus 35 is 38 minutes on top of a degree of 42 degrees, 42 degrees. So this is 42 degrees, 38 minutes south of the equator. Remember, we're coming down from the equator. Right, so back to the bottom here, we have position A, 148, 148 minutes, 37 degrees east, and our final bearing was 42 degrees, 38 minutes south. And that is our fix for our boat for position A. <coughs> and we can continue that for the others for position B, C and D. I'll just continue it for B and see the same marks again. So first of all, let's find a latitude. Once again, line up with our, with any of the straight lines on the map. Sorry, <coughs> any of the vertical lines on the straight, on the map. Holding the rolling ruler section, roll over until we're passing through point B and convert that to your map, uh, to your uh, grid. Once again, we have 148 degrees here and we're going away from the meridian. So therefore back here would be 30 minutes of the previous degree. So 148, this must be 147.30, 147.35, 36, 37. So 147 degrees, 37 minutes is our position for boat B <coughs> and that is east of the prime meridian. Now measuring our longitude, grab our rolling ruler, line up with any straight line, roll down until we get through the middle of B and convert it over onto our longitude scale. So once again, here is 43 degrees, and we're counting down in five minute sections. So 43 degrees, 43 degrees, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and we don't quite get up to 26, so I'm happy with 25 minutes. <coughs> this map is probably even accurate enough to go um, probably about 20% of the way between um, 25 and 26, so I may even want to say something like maybe and 10 seconds, and that will be south of the equator because we're coming down from the equator this way. So position of boat B, 147, minute, 147 degrees, 37 minutes east, 43 degrees, 25 minutes, and 10 seconds south.